isotopes are atoms with a different amount of neutrons. We know that from last class period. And basically, you can have an atom with different amount of neutrons. And what that means is that the mass, the relative mass of the atoms will be different for this atom and another atom. We talked about hydrogen 1 and hydrogen 2. That's great. It turns out, in nature, atoms of the same kind that has different masses can have two different, uh, can be broken down into two different categories and two different isotope categories. You have, on one hand, you have isotopes that have a very stable nucleus, which means it has the correct amount of ratio of protons and neutrons that holds them together, and it's whoopee doo la di da everything's great. And so that isotope will be like go on to and live forever and ever and ever. But then on the other hand, you will have isotopes with an unstable nucleus. That unstable nucleus. And because, why is it unstable? Well, that's because the isotopes have an extra amount of neutrons. And the ratio of protons and neutrons are now wickedy whack. So that means it's unstable. And when it's unstable, the nucleus will break down. All right? And this breaking down process is known as radioactive decay. Radioactive decay. And when radioactive isotopes breaks down or undergoes decay, it does it spontaneously. It's like, but how? It just happens. Boom. And when it happens, it emits energy. Whoa. And some energy is good old, I mean, it's, it's an okay energy that you won't get harmed. And some of the energy is bad. Now, some of the, these energy come in a form called radiation. Oh, now you've heard about this before. Nuclear radiation, all right? The process of radioactive decay is completely random. It just, but a boom, happens without any warning. It just happens. And it's not affected by temperature. Okay, so the process is completely random and is not affected by temperature. It's very important to know that this process, the process of radioactive decay, is a nuclear process. That means it is a nuclear process. That means this whole thing where unstable isotopes breaks down into radioactive decay is known as nuclear Vision, where the unstable isotopes breaks down into smaller, simpler nuclei. And it's, this is not a chemical process, no matter what it is. Even though we study this in chemistry, it is not a chemical process. You do not make new compounds, all right? You make new atoms. So, this is nuclear radiation, right? The stuff that we get out of it. Now, here is a schematic of a nucleus, all right? It just has some wiggity whack ratios of protons and neutrons, and so it's unstable, right? It's just bobbing around, being unstable. And then spontaneously, it breaks down. And it breaks down into two smaller nuclei. And these are daughter nuclei known as daughter nuclei. And these daughter nuclei could be stable, it could be unstable. If it's stable, it stays there. If it's unstable, it will break down again and go more radioactive decay. Okay? Now, remember when I talk about when things breaks down and it emits energy? This energy comes in forms of radiation. All right? This is known as nuclear radiation. Now, nuclear radiation comes in several forms. Some of it, like alpha particle radiation or beta particle radiation. Now these are Greek symbols 
for alpha and beta are harmless. For example, alpha particles, when it hits our skin, ooh, our skin can deflect it. Ba-boom! Yeah, we can deflect alpha particles, yo. But when beta particles come to our skin, it will penetrate our skin. So in order to protect ourselves from beta particle radiation, we have to protect ourselves with aluminum foil. Yes, thin sheet of metal is, is good enough to protect us from beta particle radiation. And then finally, we have gamma ray radiation. Gamma rays are fast moving radiation that penetrates deep into our skin and can cause us, cause us to get cancer. Yeah, and die, basically. Too much radiation, you die. So all these sci-fi movies you watch of nuclear breakdowns and stuff like that, well, it's not sci-fi because nuclear plant, power plants did break down. This gamma ray radiation, the things that make Godzilla, not true, by the way. This, you need a big, thick, concrete wall or big, thick steel wall to protect yourself from these radiations. So that's our unit on radioactive isotopes. Next time we're going to talk about the benefits of radioactive isotopes and the uses in our everyday lives. <laughs>